Gina Morris is live in our newsroom to explain why, Gina. Mike, 100 years of history are gone tonight. The long vacant St. Pat's School at the corner of Saratoga and Johnson fell victim to fire and a wrecking ball. Investigators are certain this morning's blaze was deliberately set. Firefighters charged in on the offensive, but the furious flames forced them out in minutes. When firefighters doused the fire with water, the flames actually seemed to grow, and so too did the suspicion of arson. Investigating an arson is like putting, a, putting together a big puzzle, and in this particular case, all the pieces aren't there. Craig Walter says a lot of the evidence is destroyed. Tracing a burn pattern could be impossible. Plus, the demolition, which allowed firefighters to get at the fire's core, also ripped through valuable pieces of information. And the continued dismantling of the building means the more than 100 children at nearby Southside Catholic Child Care Center will not be allowed to return Tuesday. The demolition of St. Pat's School will leave yet another lot empty at the corner of Johnson and Saratoga. It's a sad sight for area residents. I think the city should step in and say, hey, there's a vacant lot here. Let's put a house there, put a family in it or something. And it is a sad situation because there's going to be another vacant lot. It's just a strange feeling because I remember sliding down the fire escape and just school here and the building won't be here anymore. Word of Faith Church, which owned the old schoolhouse, had no insurance. But the city of Peoria has offered a no-interest loan to pay for the $55,000 demolition. Investigators do have a suspect in the case but have made no arrests.